Hello, welcome back, Fudsters. I'm Brad Richard, and this is our live stream for the 17th of September. Um, chat room is already uh, filling up. Uh, I want to thank you all for uh, joining me today. And uh, we are going to be live here in about five minutes. I think we're live now. So uh, Fairy Tale joined. Um, the chat room is filling up. As um, soon as we, uh, we get started here at 1 o'clock, um, we'll, we'll get started here. Um, once again, thank you for joining me on the live stream. Uh, I am Brad Richard. I am a certified master life coach. Uh, it may not look like it, uh, but, uh, you know, it's Sunday. So uh, today is very casual and uh, I lost my razor. Uh, you know, I, I might find that next week. Who knows? A um, little, little scruffy, but it is Sunday, and uh, and we are uh, authentic. So, uh, welcome to uh, to my live stream, the Q and A uh, uh, live stream for this week, the seventeenth. And uh, once again, the chat room is uh, is continuing to uh, fill up. Uh, let's see, uh, Kren. And I cannot pronounce that. LOL. Hello. Hello. Um, so uh, thank you. Uh, Olivia joined. And uh, we're just going to wait here. Uh, we got a few more people uh, joining us. Um, we are going to be doing a group 20-minute uh, power session this week. Uh, it's going to be kind of a group thing. Uh, so we're going to do uh, my 20-minute power session. Uh, we're going to do it live. And um, you almost have it. Okay. Thanks. I tried, and um, we're going to be uh, doing that. So while we're getting ready here um, to go live in about uh, three minutes, um, if you want to participate, you don't have to, but if you want to participate in our live 20-minute uh, power session, um, what I need you to do is get a piece of paper and a uh, and something to write with, a pen or a pencil. And um, the, the things that you're going to be writing down and the questions that you're going to be uh, asking and answering are going to be uh, private. Only you are going to see these answers. And so um, if you want to participate uh, in the 20-minute live power session, uh, life coaching power session, uh, I encourage you to get a piece of paper and a pencil or a piece of paper and a pen and uh, get ready to, uh, to write down your answers and to participate if you choose to do so. After the 20-minute power session today, um, we are going to do the Q&A, and uh, I will answer any questions uh, that, that uh, I'll try to answer any questions that, that you may have uh, after the power session is done. So uh, once again, I want to welcome everybody to uh, my live stream Q&A, uh, Sunday, the 17th of September. Uh, this month is flying by. The chat room is filling up. And we'll be going live in about a minute or so. Uh, thank you all for joining me on the live stream. Please tell your tell your friends uh, about the live stream. Um, I have several live streams uh, still scheduled into October, so I will be here every Sunday at 1 p.m. to answer your life coaching questions. And um, some of you may be asking, how does that pertain to side hustles? Um, knowing yourself. And learning more about yourself and what makes you tick and your goals and dreams and, and who you are uh, is very important in finding the perfect side hustle that you're going to be passionate about and that you're going to be successful with. So that's how it all relates to your side hustle. This is my side hustle. And um, it's it's much more than a side hustle for me. Um, I, I, you know, I do this uh, full time. So it's, it's uh, a little more than just a side hustle. But uh, anyway, welcome. Um, we're up to about 10 or 11 people in the chat room. So welcome to everybody that is here. And uh, just for the people that are just showing up, I wanted to let you know, Phoebe just joined. Um, it looks like, uh, uh, let's see, um, trying to watch the chat. Okay. But hello, hello, everyone. It is one o'clock and we are live with the live stream, the life coaching live stream. I am a certified uh, master life coach. Um, I actually have three certifications, three master certifications in mindset and transformation. Um, you can visit my website, uh, bradrichard.net, for everything that I'm doing on the website. And I do offer one-on-one um, -on -one live coaching, uh, uh, live life coaching, one-on-one, -on -one, 
uh, for people. And um, if you are interested in doing that, you can always reach out to me here on FUD. I do have two guides. One guide is free uh, here on FUD. That is the 20 minute power session that we are going to do here live today. If you choose to participate in that. And I also offer a step by step uh, guide that takes you through the process of redefining your direction, your dreams, your life, your goals, and uh, getting, getting you to where you want to be and, and helping you uh, in your personal transformation. And um, that begins with uh, learning about forgiveness, forgiving ourselves and forgiving other people, as well as self-care, self-love and, and uh, self-acknowledgement. So welcome everyone to the live stream and we are are officially live uh one minute ago i want to thank everybody for joining me once again um today we are going to be going through live um a group a group 20 minute power session and this is a uh, life coaching power session if you want to participate in it um, um you can do so you don't have to um, but we're going to go through that power session. Um, if you want to participate, you will need a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil because uh, you are going to need to be writing some things down. And I will be giving you approximate time um, uh, time targets for each each of the uh, questions and each of the uh, each of the statements that we're going to go through. So um, just go ahead and give me a thumbs up in the chat room. Chris just joined, and um, uh, Afina is. Um, has joined us. Harper, uh, like the stream. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. But uh, thanks, everyone. And um, give me a thumbs up in the chat room if you are ready to go with the live group 20-minute power session, and I will get started with that. So give me a thumbs up in the, uh, in the chat. And um, we're going to do the 20-minute power session. And then afterwards, we're going to do a QA, and a and I will, um, I will take some questions and hopefully provide some answers. Uh, to those questions, and I, I'm hoping that everyone gets a lot out of this um, this live stream. Kyle W. just joined, so thank you very much. And uh, still waiting for some thumbs up. If you uh, if you are if you are ready, if you're still looking for a piece of paper and a pen, let me know, um, and then we can get started here. We need to get started pretty soon because we got 20 minutes to go through the power session and then Q and A afterwards. So. Uh, I haven't got any thumbs up yet. Please give me a thumbs up in the chat if you are ready to go and if you are ready to begin um, the 20 minute power session. Um, there's one thumbs up. So we got one person ready. That's good. That's good. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, if you have your a pen and paper ready, um, we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, I have another thumbs up. Cool. Okay. So. Uh, for the ones of you that are participating in this uh, power session, uh, just bear with me. We're going to go through these one at a time, and then we will do Q&A um, once the power session is done. Okay. Um, I call this my 20-minute power session because um, it is a very, um, it's a very action-orientated exercise. Uh, each segment or each question or statement is going gonna, is gonna to be timed. I will let you know approximately how much time you have for that. So let's get started. Um, the chat room is still filling up. Welcome for the people that are just joining and, um, and follow along. If you're just joining, we are, we are doing a live power session uh, here on the live stream. So let's get started. I, I want you to take one minute to think about it and ask yourself, what was your childhood name? Um, not just Bob or Bob, or you know, not just Bob or Sue or John but really give it some thought. Take a minute to think about what was your childhood name or your childhood nickname. And, uh, and you may have to think about that and try to remember back of what did people call you when you were seven, eight years old or five or six years old. Um, once you have that name um, written down, that childhood name, we're going to move on to the first, the first statement, okay? Um, the question was, what was your childhood name? And then let's move on to the first statement, okay? And this statement, I want you to use your childhood name, and I want you, and this may, you may feel silly doing this, but that's okay. 
Uh, use your childhood name and say hello to your little me by name. Say hello to them and use their name. And you can take a minute to do that as well. And while you're doing, uh, while you're while you're doing that, and while you are saying hello to your little, uh, your little me, uh, for me, uh, my my uh, nickname that I had as a child was Elvis, and so uh, I would use Elvis because my little me identifies with the name Elvis, and so uh, for that first statement, I would say hello, Elvis, nice to meet you and acknowledge uh acknowledge my little person um by name okay the second uh, the second step or the second part uh that is uh two minutes and it might be a little more difficult i want you to to uh to tell your little me by name that you love them tell them that you love them and use their name so elvis i love you and so I want you to do that. And that for some people that is a little harder to do, but, uh, but you know, go through that. And uh, after saying hello to them and remembering your childhood name, now use that name in the statement, I love you blank and fill in the blank with your childhood name. Matt, is uh, that you're allotted, you know, two minutes for that, but it can be shorter uh, if, if you'd like. Um, the next statement that I would like for you to um, make, and that is tell them they are secured and protected. And once again, use their name. For example, Elvis, you are secure and you are protected. And... For me, Elvis loves to hear that. So you need to tell your little me that they are secure and that they are protected as well as they are loved uh, from the previous statement. So go ahead and tell them that, that they are secure and they are protected and use their name. It's very important that you use their name. Um, it, is, uh, it is more beneficial on an emotional level that, that you do that, that you use their name and that you identify and you use their name aloud. So um, once that is done, we're gonna to go to the next statement. And the next statement that you're gonna to make to your little me, to your little person, whatever their name is, you are going to, you're gonna tell them that you as an adult, you take full responsibility to take care of them, to love and protect them. So tell blank your little me, your name, tell him or her that you as the adult take full responsibility to take care of them and use their name. A lot of likes of the stream. Good, good. I'm glad you guys are liking it. I'm glad. Uh, we're dropping off in the chat room a little bit, and that's okay. If you don't have to participate in this, but if you if you want to, um, I'm I'm glad people are liking it. Terrific. We're going to go through the next statement after taking full responsibility for our little person. Okay, we are going to tell them using their name that you, as an adult, will never abandon them. So in my case, Elvis. I'll never abandon you, never abandon you. And Elvis needs to hear that. Um, along with Elvis, I take full responsibility for taking care of you. The previous statement, okay? You kind of see how this is, this is working, how this is going, okay? After you tell your little me that you will never abandon them, the next statement you want to make is telling them that you, as the adult, that you are in charge and that you're the adult. In my situation or in my, in, in my circumstances, okay, Elvis, I am in charge 
and I'm the I'm the adult Elvis, and that goes along with everything that we've already stated previously. So use your little name, use the name that you were called as a child, and let them know that as an adult you're in charge. They are not, and that you are the adult. They're not. Very important. Now that is the um, that's number six. Okay. Uh, telling them that you're in charge. Okay. Now you can write down the answer to this question. Which statement or question did you struggle with the most? Take a couple minutes to think about that. You remembered your childhood name. You told him or her by name that you love them, that they were secure and protected that you take full responsibility for taking care of them and that you will never abandon them using their name with each and every statement and then letting them know by name that you are in charge and that you are the adult in the room and ask yourself out of those statements and the one question, which did you struggle with the most? And it's important that you write that down, write that, that, that down and identify for yourself, which one of those you struggled with the most. And that will be key in moving forward in understanding how to change those uncomfortable negative emotions that you struggled with into something more positive and more in your control of changing okay so um i'll give you just a, another minute or so to, to write down the answer to which statement or question did you struggle with the most give you a couple minutes um to write that down um, i do have a copy of these six statements and questions if anyone would like it i, I can provide it to you it's also provided in my free guide here on fud the 20 minute power session. So it's there for you in video format. So you can uh, check it out that way. It's absolutely free. You can enroll in it, take about 20 minutes and you can go through this as many times as you want. Um, we'll give you another minute or so on this. Um, I'm really glad that a lot of people are saying that they like the stream. Um, we did have some people that dropped out of the chat and that's okay. Uh, they probably thought, nah, I don't want to participate in this and that's okay. Because after this is done, and we only have one, one thing left to do, um, after this is done, we are going to have a Q&A, and we're going to open it up to questions and answers. And um, I think everyone has had enough time to um, answer the last question and make the statement to their little person, um, all six of them that we covered. You told them that you loved them. You told them they were secure and protected. You told them that you're taking full responsibility to take care of them. You told them that you would never abandon them. And then you told them that you were in charge and that you are the adult. And you use their name in each of those statements. Very, very important. Okay. The last step is I'm going to play a, uh, I'm going to play a song for everyone. Welcome, Kyle. Kyle just joined. Uh, welcome. And I'm going to play a song for you. And I ask you to listen to the words and listen to the, the, the lyrics of the song and picture yourself saying these words to your little me, your, your little man or your little woman, your little lady or your, or your little boy. OK, um, so I'm going to play this and then um, I'm going to have one last question for you after I play this song. So um, listen to the song. Hopefully you can hear it. And um, as you're listening, recite the words and the lyrics you're hearing. Recite those or repeat those to your little person. Here we go. Don't be a 
There we go. I'll stand by you. Uh, that song is from the Pretenders. And did you um, give me a thumbs up if you listen to the lyrics of that song um, in the chat? Give me a thumbs up if you could hear it and if you could hear the words. Um, there was so many lyrics in there, and uh, and those lyrics sung or stated to your little me. You're the little person that you'll stand by them, uh, won't let anyone hurt you. Nothing you confess can make me love you less. Um, no matter what path you choose, I'll stand by you. And let me know. I, I had one person with, with a thumbs up. Um, if, if you could hear the lyrics and if you felt those lyrics as you were repeating them to your little person, then give me a thumbs up in, in the chat. Um, would want to see thumbs up. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of people in the chat room. So just uh, if you could hear the lyrics and you could hear the words, uh, you can always go back and you can find that song anywhere. Um, just type in I'll Stand By You by The Pretenders. You can type it in YouTube and you can listen to the whole song um, and listen to those words over and over and over again. Um, something that... Um, uh, Dr. Tachi, hello, thanks, and uh, appreciate you joining us. And um, so my final question, excuse me, after playing that song, I'm assuming that everybody could hear it and everybody could hear the lyrics. If not, if you couldn't hear the lyrics clearly, uh, go to YouTube and type out, I'll Stand By You by The Pretenders. Listen to it over and over again and sing along or, or speak those lyrics to your little person. And um, my testimonial, before I ask my final question, okay, my testimonial is I used that song for years to Elvis, my little Brad, and that was my mantra. And I sang that and I repeated those lyrics to my little self 
for years until little Brad believed that I was serious and that I was in charge and that we were going to do great things together. And we're doing that. We are doing that. And it was part of my healing. And it's very important that you acknowledge and state to them your intentions and let them know that you are a team and that you're leading the team in the direction that you both want to go in. So my final question for this 20 minute power session is how did that song make you feel? If you are brave enough and, and, and authentic enough, if you had some feelings and emotions that came up from hearing that song and making these statements, how did that song make you and your little person feel? If you want to just type it out in the chat, that would be great. If, uh, if you're brave enough to do that, um, I encourage you to be authentic. Um, you're not going to be judged here. There is no judging here whatsoever. Uh, we are anti-judging. And so if you want to share with everyone in the chat, how did that song make you feel? And how did those statements make you feel inside? Um, and I'll give you a couple minutes to do that or give you a minute to do that if you want to share it uh, in the in the live stream. Share how how this exercise, uh, now that it's concluded, share with me and the rest of the people in the live stream um, if you got, out, got anything out of it. And how did the exercise make you feel? It should have made you feel positive and empowered and focused on what's important. Um, I felt relief and happy knowing I made my little self feel better. Great, great statement. Um, thank you. Thank you for uh, Kren, Kren Centria. <laughs> thank you for sharing that. Um, and and, and that's, the, that's the whole thing is to make them feel loved and cared for. And they, they are in your they are part of your subconscious making them happy and making them secure and making them feel good and loved and protected um will transfer into your conscious mind and you'll notice how your perspective of yourself starts to change and um when you love yourself and when you're happy with yourself then things can really open up for you. Uh, your side hustle will soar along with many other things in your life. So um, anyone else, would, um, anybody else brave enough to share their feelings and how the song and this power session exercise made you feel inside? Um, if it made you feel good and happy, um, that is, that's wonderful. I'm happy I stayed on here. I'm glad you stayed on here as well. Um, terrific. And um, I'm glad it touched your heart and touched your little, your, uh, I'm assuming that uh, you're a lady. And, I, and uh, so uh, assuming that, I, I'm, I hope it touched your little lady inside of you. And, uh, and, you, and you all are, are uh, you're kind of moved and, and connected. And that, that's, that's the purpose of it. So, um, Okay, well, we uh, we don't have anybody that well, we have one person that wa that did share their feelings and if, and that's fine. Um, thank you, Dr. Tachi. Appreciate the rose, and um, appreciate everybody being here. So um, the twenty minute power session is officially over. Um, you can always send a message to me through FUD. Reach out to me. Contact me on FUD. You know, you can open up a message stream, um, and if you want to talk about this but just you and me um if you want to talk to me about how the exercise made you feel and how the song made you feel reach out to me on fud i'll be glad to talk with you about it and um and i, I hope that it put things in perspective and whether you felt good or bad um good mean it means a good feeling from this exercise means that you can you need to continue to reinforce that if you felt bad about it then 
the question is, what do you need to do to change your thinking and your emotions to change the behavior and start feeling positive about it? Okay. Thoughts, emotions, behavior. And if, if it made you, uh, made you uncomfortable, it made you sad, then let's work on that. Let's change that and let's turn that around and, 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 uh, and commit to those statements and make a choice to move forward um, and be happy. Okay. So I'm going to open it up to Q&A. Um, the session is over with, the power session. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Um, I, I hope it was beneficial. Reach out to me if you have any questions, comments, or, or things that you would, you would like answers to uh, pertaining to the power session. And I, I really hope you enjoyed it. And I, I hope you found it helpful. So um, now Q&A, uh, questions and answers about life coaching. Uh, d- does anybody have any questions or comments, feedback? Uh, please put it in the chat. Um, you can you know, raise your hand. Or if you want to join me live, I know that you can press the three, the three dots to the left of the hand. Um, if you press the three dots, you can join me live. I'd love to have, have uh, someone here from the chat join me on the live stream. Uh, if you uh, don't want to do that, then type your question in the chat and I will try to answer it. So uh, we're open up for Q&A, uh, life coaching q and I'd be glad to answer any questions that you all have. Um, but if we don't have any questions, then this would be the live stream for this week. And I will be back next Sunday at 1 p.m. I'm here every Sunday at 1 p.m. for all of the Fudsters. The Fudster fam, family and all of my friends here on FUD. So I'm here for you, um, not for me, but for you. And, and I'm happy, happy to be here. And uh, I appreciate all of you. And I appreciate you being a part of my Sunday afternoon because uh, uh, it's, uh, it's really inspiring to me. So does anyone have any questions or uh, comments or statements? It looks like the chat's starting to drop off. People are starting to bail which is fine um because we're we're about ready to wrap it up but um last call for questions dr tachi thank you you're very welcome uh you're very welcome i hope you were here for the whole thing uh, if i missed you early on i hope you were here for the whole uh the whole session um if not i, I believe you guys can go back and, and watch the live stream later so uh any questions or comments it is a life coach Q and A, uh, and no, I'm going to watch the replay. Terrific! Thank you, Doctor Tachi. I appreciate that. Um, that goes along with with the rest of you. If you want to go back and uh, watch the replay, you know, then do that and share it. Share the replay of the live stream with anyone that you think could benefit from this. Um, anyone that you know that struggle with um, their past their childhood um, and, and struggle with caring about themselves and, and putting themselves first and foremost. Um, if you know of people that, you know, that are that way or that have those challenges, please share the live stream with them. Um, share this 20 minute power session with, with everyone, you know, um, it is, uh, it is yours to use any way that you'd like. And, um, I personally have gotten tremendous uh, benefits from it, as well as my other clients have as well. And, um, you know, we start off with this power session and then we move into some uh, deeper stuff and some uh, exercises, tools, workshops, worksheets, that type of thing. And there's a lot more to do. So uh, a lot more to do. And, and I'm working with my clients um, on their on their plan, on their personal plan that they're working on. So. Um, okay, well, I think I'm going to wrap it up. Um, questions, questions. My childhood was rough, and this did help me. Fantastic. Kren, uh, Kren Centuria, <laughs> I appreciate that statement. Um, yes, my, I, I totally relate to that. Um, my childhood uh, was very rough as well. Uh, it was so rough that I wrote a book about it. Um, I I wrote my autobiography, Man at, Man at 50, and, uh, and that was my therapy. That was my way of leaving it behind, leaving it behind and moving forward. 
Um, for me, the best thing to do was to put it into a book, which I did. So, uh, yes, I can relate to that. I had a rough childhood as well. Um, I'm glad that it helped you. And you can reach out to me if you have any other questions um, or if there's anything, any actions that you think you need to take um, uh, to, to gain further help. Um, I'm here and reach out to me. Um, be, be glad to help in any way I can. All right, folks, any other uh, last minute questions or comments or statements? Just remember, I'll be back next Sunday at 1 p.m. live on FUD with all of you amazing people. I appreciate all of you being here. I hope everyone enjoyed uh, the power session. Um, if you don't have any questions this week, maybe you'll have some next week. That's fine. But I will be back next Sunday at 1 p.m. with, uh, with another live Q&A, a life coaching Q&A. Um, I'm just, I'm glad to be here. Uh, hopefully, um, you, you know, the folks that are here that have been here, um, for the past several live sessions, I hope y'all are getting something out of my live sessions by all means, please tell me in the chat if there's anything that, uh, that you would specifically need or want me to do in the live chat, because this is for you. And, um, I don't know what everybody's needs are. And so, you know, I kind of wing it or kind of guess. So if there's something that you specifically would like me to cover or do in the live sessions, please tell me in the chat or reach out to me and message me on FUD and let me know, um, you know, your needs and, and what else you would like to get from the live Q&A on Sundays. So love to hear from you. But for now, I think I'm going to wrap it up. If there's no more questions, uh, or statements. I appreciate all of you. And I will wrap up the same way that I wrap up my podcast. Love your little me. Take care of them because they need you more than you can imagine. So until next time, take care and bye for now. Thanks, guys.